Okay, let me just uh, share my slides. So it's not, uh, it's just the introduction of uh, Fast API and how to use it. So, uh, so uh, has anyone had um, like previous experience with Fast API or developing API? Yeah, I would think that I said no. Okay, okay. So, um, so what's fast API? So, uh, it's a, as a name in place actually. It's a, it's fast and high per, per performance. Modern. So uh, I think I've lost you for the, for a second. Okay, so uh, it's it's a Python based API build building framework. So you use it to build uh, APIs, and it's uh, based on uh, it's uh, based on the Python, uh, and uh, it's suitable choice for creating APIs with minimal effort. So it's not a lot a lot of work. It's just a post and create. Uh, syntax that you use and it's easy to apply and you use it by using pydantic i think you are asked to use uh pydantic in the project as well so it's uh it's easy integrated with that one too. so it's easier than uh, most of the api this one in flask are both uh based web based uh, web framework by using python okay. i'm sorry i think i have called okay so the key features are high performance easy of use uh, automatic generation of interactive so it automatically generates the documentation based on your api uh, and all the modern features of Python are all already integrated, and that's asynchronous. Asynchronous, uh, like it uses async and await, so it's fast. So the components uh, we have uh, the Pydantic, which is uh, for data uh, validation and serialization. So that's um, whenever you are entering the data, you need to be make sure that it's the right format in the right type of data right so you can uh, use it uh, starlet uh, it's just for the web part not for this one and open apis and uh, we actually use the json for format the json schema so for more generation we will see this in examples so yeah so Pydatic, so what's Pydatic? So it's just a Python library for uh, parsing and validation, uh, validating of your data by using uh, Python type annotations. I'm sorry. <coughs> yeah, so just, uh, just to make sure that the data that you input or the data that is inputted is not, it's the same uh, format and it's the right kind of data. So the advantages are automatic type validation, like if it is uh, int, like if you are expecting integer and someone uh, enters characters, so it's going to automatically reject it. So it's good. Uh, so realizations like do you like convert between formats from JSON to text to list and so on. And parsing uh, just to handle complex uh, data structures, and like as I've mentioned uh, earlier, with it's in, already integrated with Fast API. It's easily integrated with Fast API. Okay. So, like as I've said, uh, it's not a lot. Like it's uh, we're gonna practice it together. So, do you have any questions on the introductions?
Okay. Okay. So, okay. Let's uh, let's see an example. Can you show my screen? So, uh, like, actually, this is just uh, so th this is just the database, but it's, it's not created. Okay. So this is the structure that we have uh, like proposed to to you to use. So it has a crude, which is great, right? Update and uh, delete, I think. Yeah, uh, the database just to connect. Like, let's go through each of them. So, like, uh, so this is one is just for. Uh, Creating an item, getting like running them, deleting them, and so on. The crude, as I, I think I was mentioning this in the stand up, uh, the database is just there to create the engines to connect with your uh, database. For this example, it's using uh, the SQLite. And uh, okay, yeah. So this one is the main thing. So, uh, so when you are using fast API, your main.py is going to be run. Uh, let me just hide this one. Yeah, it's going to run and it's going to create the API. So we're going to see how to do this. And the models is just there, uh, like just to create the data model. So we have the ID, the name, the description and so on for the medical business. This is just the example, it's not the exact thing as you are. You, you guys are working. So as I've mentioned earlier on the schemas, so uh, as you have see, as you can see here, uh, I'm using the Pydatic, Pydatic uh, framework just to give it the right type of type. So the item is going to have ID and ID is going to be int integer. And the item base is going to be uh, name and it's going to be string. So if I try to enter uh, like string in place of ID, it's going to reject it. So this is why we use uh, identity. So yeah, let's go back to the main. So after you install the dependencies, uh, let me just clear this one out. Sorry. So this is just like the basic, um, the basic example of hero wallet. I just want to get or post the uh, this message. You, you're gonna return the hello wallet message. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to use the unicorn app slash main semicolon uh, app reload and uh, it's not working. Oh, I haven't saved it. Okay. Okay. So it has uh, completed and the API is now live. So if I go to this uh, site, like control, press control and C. Okay, I don't think you guys can see it. Yeah. So like it's going to post what I've given it, right? So the message and 
data model. So this is in the JSON format, as I've mentioned earlier. So you, you're gonna find the data that like this. So if I change the, like, if I go back and change like the message to like, let's say, uh, Junior was here first, so. And click save, you're gonna see If I refresh it, you're gonna see a regenerate. So it's fast in a sense that whenever you make an edit and uh, like refresh it here, it's going to automatically update it. Yeah, so um, is that clear, guys? Like, it's like uh, before we move on to the next one. Okay. Um, okay, just, yeah. okay, so here, um, so we have seen how this one works. Okay, let's move on to how we can use our uh, like for this pro project. So let me just explain uh, the code, just a highlight of two few. So I think there is some noise in the background. Okay, so this is just the dependencies. So I think I've already shown you uh, what these things hold, right? Like the code, the model, the schemas, the database, like the session, the engine and the base, like from the data use, you can see here, uh, like the engine is going to create the engine for uh, the SQL light the session is going to make the session and the base is just there to declare it. Okay. So, okay, like what else, what else? Um, so this one is just there for app is equal to the fast API, just to create the, the fast API app that's going to be running. And this just to, from the base, to create the uh, database like create the, the table in the database. So the database is already there. And here, just to create the database, the dependencies. And here, just to initiate the whole thing. So let me just refresh it and see. It has started, but we haven't given it anything. So I think uh, I think it's better um, just to share the whole thing. But okay. So when I hit refresh, so here since I have not given it anything, any data, but you have the data, uh, it's not going to show me anything. It's just going to show uh, not found. So, um, yeah. Okay. So is it clear, guys? Um, or did I con confuse you more? Yeah, Yarisa, can you uh, elaborate on that? Uh, should run API or main? Yarisa, can you open your mic and speak? Hello. Yes, yes. When I try to run the 
the unicorn i try to run the api directly should i run the api or the main function the main function like it's just like api what do you mean the api do you have any other uh... yes no no i don't have the other uh, i have the api crap the I mean, the collection and the cleaning are in, in the same folder. Like, okay, so you have the the, fun the functions, right? Like, yeah. you have uh, like the functions that's going to create, uh, like that's going to connect the, the, the database, that's going to uh, like do the DBTs and load the data into the database, right? So you can just import that uh, to the main function, uh, main.py and you just ran, ran the main function like you you record the main uh, app not api okay thank you is that clear okay so um, maybe uh actually have prepared another example but my postgres just crashed my my Docker just crashed, so I'm trying to fix it, but it wasn't ready uh, for this session. But I can promise you that um, if everyone is available, maybe we can have another session in the morning by you by using the Postgres. So who's up for it? So two people, three people. Okay, seems like everyone. So we can have uh, another session in the morning. Uh, maybe, maybe after the stand-up. Uh, okay, let me just check the schedule. Um, okay. Yeah, right after the stand-up or after the CBS session, we can have, especially after the CBS session, we can have uh, a session. If that's okay with you guys like after three o'clock or nine o'clock uh, uh Ethiopian time okay. thank you and i'm sorry like uh my docker i think i have to really install it again but yeah okay thank you guys but do you have any other questions you're welcome junior any other questions, guys? Kim okay, Matthias doesn't have any. What about the others? If it is clear, like what you have seen so, so far, show me some thumbs up and we can end the session. People three. What about Edisa? Thank you guys uh, for joining and see you guys tomorrow.